In this video, we're going to learn how to use the apply map function in pandas. We're going to begin by loading in pandas and a data set to work with here. Now, what the apply map function does is it operates on data frames and it will apply a function to every single element of the data frame. So for instance, with this data frame we have here, we have all these different values. Well, apply map will take some function and element wise run it on every single value in this whole data frame and then return back a data frame with whatever the result of running that function is. Now, since data frames often have data of different types across different columns, apply map is a bit less common of a function to use than say apply or map is because you're going to have to run a function that's able to actually run on the sorts of data you have in your columns. So for instance, in this case, we have some numbers in some columns, but we also have some character strings. So if we wanted to pass a function that only works on numbers into apply map, that's going to throw an error here because it can apply to this column, but these columns are strings, so it wouldn't work on that. So we have to make sure to pass in a function that's actually going to work on both numbers and strings. So below, I've defined a function that should work on either numbers or strings. What it's going to do is just convert whatever the thing is into a string if it's not already a string. So basically these numbers will be converted into string. Then it's going to just check the length of whatever the object is. So we can define this function. And if we pass that to apply map on our data frame, we'll get back a data frame that's just the length of all these different entries. So we're going to say data, which is our data frame dot apply map. We're going to pass in the name of our function to apply map. And the result here will be a data frame that is corresponding to the length of every single element in this table. So what we end up with here is a new data frame where every element is the length of the corresponding element of the original data frame. It looks like most of the entries were around four to six characters in length, but we have, we have one entry here that's quite a bit longer. So that came up as 11. Now note that if your entire data frame contains numeric data already, then you can use basic math operations on the data frame directly without having to do an apply map function call because by default pandas will do numeric broadcasting of math operations just like numpy will so that's something you can just do by using the operators themselves for instance now that we have this d2 data frame where everything in it is a number if we wanted to for instance square every single entry in this whole data frame we wouldn't need to do apply map on like a squaring function to do that we can just directly say the name of that data frame and squared and then everything in it will be squared because pandas knows that we want to broadcast that math operation operation to everything by default. So when we run that, every element is squared. So basically apply map is something you'd generally be using when you have data that isn't numeric or maybe that you want to apply, say, a more complicated numeric function that you can't get done with these sorts of more basic math operations. But it's probably not a function you're going to be using quite as often as something like apply or map that can work on individual columns. Now the code used for this video is available in the description below. If you found the video useful, you can drop a like and hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.